our Yoruba World Congress. It is a powerful organization. In only one year, in fact, in less than one year, in less than one year, we have expanded to cover all local governments of Yoruba land. The Yoruba homeland in Benin and Togo, the Yoruba diaspora on the African continent, and the Yoruba world Con and the Yoruba uh, diaspora in almost all countries of the world. As I speak now today, in September, the middle of September 2020, we have more than a hundred Yoruba World Congress chapters located in many diaspora communities around the world. We have held out a great deal of hope for our people and we want to assure our people that we will always hold up that hope. We have set out to seek liberation for our nation and by the grace of God we will achieve that liberation. We we have had some uh, rumbling in the family, but that's natural of families. The rumblings are over. We are back to the task of fighting for the liberation and the self-determination of our nation. So uh, I, I want to say as leader of the Yoruba World Congress that the battle continues now, more vigorously than ever before. We thank all our Yoruba people everywhere for supporting us as they have done. Thank you very much.